Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of classifying two dimensional shapes. This is standard 5.5a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 32 off the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got a Venn diagram. We're trying to classify some two-dimensional shapes here. It looks like we're dealing with triangles. So I've got right triangles and I've got isosceles triangles, okay? So what do I know about right triangles? Well, I can actually use my connect line feature here. All right, so right triangles are triangles that have, and let's do one like that. I'd have a right angle. So if I wanted to draw that, you'll see a little right angle right there. Okay, isosceles triangles, and that's all it takes for a right triangle, is it has one right angle. Now, if I'm wanting to find an isosceles triangle, I need at least two equal angles, or two equal side lengths. Side lengths match the angles, so you can look at length, the at uh, side lengths or angles. And so typically when we're thinking of an isosceles triangle, we'll, we'll kind of think of something like this. All right, you see how these two, uh, these two, and I'll put that in blue right here, these two side lengths are equal and that means that these two angles right here are equal so what do we get when we mush them both together well it looks like we are looking for let's see if we can write that in here a right isosceles so we want both together right isosceles triangle all right so our four answer selections are simply going to be four different types of triangles. We just have to look. So is it a right triangle? And is it isosceles? That's our check. And we're going to have to kind of scroll down. So that means, our, unfortunately, everything that we've written kind of follows us, but that's fine. It goes right up there. So we're looking for right. We're looking for isosceles. So let's check out A. Uh, A. Is it right? And you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm just going to kind of bring it down like this and erase all that. And I'm looking for two things. Is it right? And is it isosceles? And let's just make a little check mark here. So I do not see a right angle in A. So that's a no. And isosceles means it, it has two equal sides. And that looks more like a scalene. It looks like all three are different, right? This is definitely the longest, but this looks the shortest. So that's a no on both. Okay. So no on the A. Well, look at B right there. They've got this labeled right there. Look at that nice little right angle. Okay. So that is going to be a yes. And then you see these little lines, they go and give it to us. That means those are equal side lengths. So yes and yes. So that looks like a right isosceles. So I'm thinking B is it. Let's check my C. C, they don't label it, you know, but, but maybe these two are equal side lengths. Possible? I'm not sure. They didn't label it. But there's no, so I'm going to put a question on isosceles, but definitely I don't see a right angle. Let's check our D. Okay, definitely isosceles because they do label it, which makes me think C is not if they're going to label that. But no, no right angle. All right, so this is just an acute isosceles here on D. That looks like, I'm going to guess that's an acute scalene on C. And then on A, we're looking at uh, an obtuse scalene. But our answer here is this right isosceles B.